what's happening guys I'm coming through with our video on the Sunday evening and I'm gonna go right into another video request for you guys this is a video request from a subscriber and they wanted me to break down the question how a narcissist reacts when losing grade 8 supply and it's a great question because there's not just one answer to this situation and I can definitely break this down because I witness what happens with my own two eyes. But I also know that not every narcissist is the same. They all have different reactions. They all react differently to rejection because this is what this is, is basically rejection. If they lost grade A supply and they can't get it back, they're obviously rejected. So, in my case, and what I've seen with my own two eyes, is when I basically turned them down and they knew I turned them down, I didn't even really have to. I did it in the nicest way possible. Because no matter how dirty somebody does me, I don't. I don't necessarily want to go right back around the corner to do something to affect them in a negative way, but even though what's going to affect them the most is being happy without them. So, really, either way we affect them, but whenever I turn them down in the nicest way possible, which was both in person and over a text, what I've seen in person, which this was at a club, um, they basically felt, how would I even explain this? They just felt at a loss. They put their heads down, sad, basically accepting what is happening right now which is they're not getting me back there's not a hope in hell and um it might shock you guys and it might not to know what happened next but like i said this was at a club pretty much on the dance floor just a step away moments after this when they basically put their heads down and accept reality for what it is, they turn right back around the corner and they're making it with some other guy like minutes later. And I'm like, boom, bingo, answer my question. You're not worth shit. You know what I mean? Because that's what they do. When they, when they can't get something, they're they're going to move on from this situation immediately. They're not going to harp on it because if they do, it's just going to hurt them more. Um, you can't really hurt their feelings all that much more than their feelings are already hurt because their feelings are hurt every single day. Because they always want what they can't have. And when they get what they want, they take it for granted. And they just, you just can't win with these types of people. This is how they are. You do give them what they want. They could have it so good. And they take it for granted. They think just because they have it, they can have it forever, even if they leave it momentarily. They can still come back. And that's so far from the truth. You're stupid if you let this happen, and guess what? I let this happen when I was younger. I was stupid. I was an idiot. So, we just got to learn from these situations and move on. But there's something else that I know too. Some don't react this way as well, and I'll explain that. Some will react the opposite way and just get all mad and offended. And try to do anything and everything in their power to change your mind. To make you do it. They won't stop. They'll be in your face. 
because they might they might see a slight ounce of weakness in you. They might they they might be able to tell that you still you still would you still would um go after them, get on them, whatever. You know what I mean? Still maybe enter a relationship and this is something else that I also witnessed with my own two eyes because I got done dirty by some of these females and it was true. They they probably can read you pretty good and I really believe in the one I dealt with anyways like because like honestly in my mind I was thinking you know what I kind of do want this girl still even after all the shit that happened at the time when I was young I still liked her I still wanted everything to do with this girl because the time that I spent with her the experiences I had were good you know what I mean why wouldn't you but I just screwed myself over again thinking that it's going to be different this time just like I thought it was going to be different every other time but it's never different and it's the exact same result every single time it might even get worse every single time so it's just like they push you over the edge they just push you way too far until they do lose that grade A supply and then they're going to regret it for the rest of their lives and they're going to have to live with that they're going to have to live with something much lesser than they could have had if they just would have had empathy if they would have cared even the slightest bit you know what I mean but no they can't do that so it's what they do and I believe they are predators I believe they can read us pretty good we can also read them but they can also read us too like I believe there's just people in this world that can read people and I believe there's people in this world that really have a hard time reading people. Um, speaking for myself, I'm pretty good at reading people. Like, because all, like, I never, I never looked into this stuff until I started getting done dirty so many times that it forced me to start wanting to read people more often because I, I don't want to let this shit happen. It hurts. I don't want to go through this bullshit, so... And you just, you just, people start to become very predictable in life. Like with me, I feel 10 steps ahead of most human beings. Not everybody, there's very intelligent people in this world, but for the average, I just feel 10 steps ahead. So, but back to this for a second, I feel... I feel they can feel that energy if we do want them, if there's still like attraction there, like it's just like, because we're not really denying it and our body language, they could probably feel if we were angry towards them, if we got anywhere close. And this person knew at the time that I wasn't like that and I still wanted them, so what do they do? They get in your face, they, they try to get you sexually hooked once again. Start probably making out with you and all this shit, and then all of a sudden you're taking this person back to their house, and yeah, bending them over backwards. And I also feel they can read you whenever you're angry and you have something against them. You you you're, you have nothing but rejection in your heart and in your soul towards this person not necessarily anger but you just like resent this person you just you can think nothing but rejection you can look at this person nothing more than a joke they can feel that energy when they're around you it's as if you're looking at them like they're nothing like you are pathetic because this is honestly what I felt this is what I was thinking, and I, I think they can I think they can sense that energy. So, and they're not happy. Whenever they sense that energy, they don't react good with it. They don't really try. They just sort of accept it and move on to something else. So, and they might even go against you if they can't get that grade A supply. They might. Do a lot of more dirty shit towards you, slander your name more, try to turn people against you, try to get people to think a certain way towards you. There are dirty ass people in this world. You cannot trust these people. 
You just can't. It's hard to trust people. So, you gotta be really careful who you're messing with in this world, because before you know it, you could end up in a bad situation. So, but I'm gonna cut this video short. I got nothing left to say in this topic. I got some more videos to come, so I'll hop on another one of these momentarily. So, I'll get to that now. I'm out.